What's up guys, this is The Rifleman and I am back bringing you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to kind of run off happened last time, um, I managed to knock Savoy out of the game and we withstood another pretty benign defensive push from Prussia out of Berlin. Um, yeah, that pretty much sums up that turn, but it's tempting to now go for the attack because, well, I might, well, I'm probably going to water resolve it, to be honest, because there's no, I mean, look, that's not, this isn't, wouldn't be a useful use of our time. <laughs> I didn't anticipate auto resolving it. I was expecting to actually uh, fight it, but, hmm, just, yeah. Right, I mean, lots of rebellions. They really don't like me. There's no, so I'm not showing any, um, Religious unrest, but I'm sure that's a thing. Not religious unrest, um, clamour for reform, but that might be being offset by their own resistance to occupation, like they don't care about reform. Let's try. Let's see how I can do. No, I can't make them my protectorate. Looks like I am in for this Prussian war for the duration. Even more so if they get to there. If they get to Hanover. So I might have to quickly sprint some... Quickly sprint some reinforcements up. So I want them to go to America. They probably will. I will. I think I will send. I'll send these to America. <clears throat> I'll reform a new garrison here to hold Turin, and then this army will move up to the northeast to start pushing against the Prussians. I don't really want to advance any more into Europe than this, really. But they're kind of pushing my buttons. Yeah, Magda Bird. See if I could, I'd destroy you. Right. Let's hit end turn. Hmm. Hmm. Risky or resolve. Ah, oh, lost two ships. Very risky auto resolve. <clears throat> but yeah, I want to maintain my plan in America to keep pushing to take Britain's economic holdings on the continent. Ooh, Austria, Austria's fighting but I thought that territory was already Austrian either way a strong Austria they'll help me against Prussia well, there you go they've created another stack which is probably gonna try to retake the city which is as expected Ooh, could be brutal well this army's pretty knackered this army's got some good units in it, but I'm hoping... Well, let's fight and find out. I actually, well, to be honest, I think I actually quite rate my chances. Let's fight it. One of those where I thought, found it to be solved. I mean, I've got a good amount of troops, some nice strong units. I mean, didn't check that. If it's tier 1, I'm fine. If it's tier 2, I am think I'm still okay. Might be a bit tricky, but I think I'm still okay. But we'll see. Louis the Fourteenth was it Louis the Fourteenth? Ah, perfect. Ah, perfect little breach as well. So let's get you and you. Let's get everyone out. Let's get my gorillas here. A. Well, so firstly they're going to deploy with a one of these and then they're also going to deploy stakes and then they're probably going to retreat into one of these buildings one artillery unit's going to sit here in fort one's going to sit in a, in these little in an, in an emplacement because this is going to permanently cover this breach the other will remain mobile and they're my 12 pounders so they're I think they're a bit better than demi cannons well they are better than demi cannons 
Okay, so they can deploy over here and over here. So let's deploy let's deploy them near the breach, a militia unit near the breach to fire on anyone who tries to actually get in. Okay, so these odd little units are going to sit here and also deploy. Should turn firewall off. Let's assume they also try to breach here as well. Actually, let's do that. Actually, let's do this. Okay, who've I got left? Oops. You are all. Oh, can we? Now my gorillas can't. Gorillas that can't do a, deploy a mine. Let's deploy these to break to act as breakwaters for any of their cavalry that manages to make it through. No, you need to stay back actually, don't you? You need to actually have some units firing. Let's put you in there, fire it will off. You in there, fire it will off. You in there with a trench. Cool. Ah, they're all over on the. They're all over on the left. stakes they're trying to breach this component I should do this then you run here to deploy stakes you get into here turn firewall off you stand the uh, no you stay hmm. you take this position general get out of the way Put my militia up here they will stand on this wall and fire down into the city. They're reluctant to move in. This force, their reinforcements, I hope, will come straight for the breach. I mean, they're pretty knackered, so if they do go for the breach, they'll get destroyed, but... take this unit and put them there to fire in that direction at least get some more shots off provisionally sit them there oh cavalry coming in First lances. <laughs> Make them get to work on the position. Get my militia moved up. Oh, I need to clear my throat a second. Apologies for that. Very unprofessional, but I'm not a professional, so it all balances out. Good. They're going to get fired upon as they pass this section of the wall. Okay, I can turn fire well on for these guys actually, because they're not currently. I've got to worry about fire will if they start climbing the walls, but until they do that, then I don't really need to worry.
Mm, and they shifted fire. Oh yes, look at that. Oh, so a cannon shot knocked out the general. This cannon shot took out a rank of Prussian troops, then hit this cannon battery. Ah, the fire has the fire has started. This regiment of horses has come within range of my walls. It isn't. It's deciding not to commit. Get my gorillas up on the walls. There you go, let's get them round the back so they don't run in front of my cannons. Oh, there you go, now they're deciding to charge. Oh, there we go, right as canister shots come pouring in. Good. Some more artillery. So, I'm tr so I've tried this before. I've deployed these stakes, and they've always kind of not really worked on cavalry coming straight through a gate like this. I don't know if the computer basically compensates, but... Eight lancers. Yeah, see, look, they should be dying. Or maybe they did die. Because I'm sure I've had it before, they kind of run up into it and bump it. They've butted up against it when I've deliberately placed it, like, here, filling the gap. Let me just keep an eye on these gaps. 17%, 9%, okay. And my buildings are okay too. Nakajuna Swiss Pikes, a tired unit of infantry. God, you guys are going to get slaughtered. Well, everyone on my side is reloading. Well, I'm picking off their troops. Well, they're making a very slow progress. Aha! So finally, an actual unit of infantry is coming in. To get cut to ribbons. Here comes the second Lancers. To hit the wall in exactly the same spot. Wavering. advance the map a bit. There you go, everyone's pouring fire in now. Teleported a bit. Sweet. See, the, well, the real test, the real test, the real problem will be when these guys finally get round to attacking. Oh, they just slightly missed the gun. Warrior, here comes the actual line infantry coming in. Oh, they're just going to get. They've just uh, came in behind a volley of grape shot. Let's follow the officer. Oh, the standard bear is gone. Where's he gone? There he is. He's up the gate. Oh, he's going to make it.
followed in by the 17th Regiment. Oh, they've lost their standard again. Oh, oh they, hit, they got hit by canister coming in. There you go. They've gone. It's all about creating that. Just utilising those bottlenecks and just abusing the hell out of them. Three pound a horse or two, it's probably why it's taking so long for them to actually breach the walls. Thirty per cent, fifteen per cent. Do they have any cavalry on the field? They do. Oh, they're Dragoons that have dismounted and they're... <laughs> Wait. 23 Regiment of Horse, 22 Death Head is ours. Yeah, go on then. Okay, so the plan is to run my gem run out, see if I can provoke them from stopping this stop start -y thing they're doing and actually getting involved. This unit of line infantry is getting quite steadily demolished. The 12th Regiment of Foot is coming back. Oh, I saw that. That artillery shot that knocked up these three guys. Lovely shot. Risky. Ooh. Obviously, don't want to send them in too far. Hmm. Guess I'll just leave them to it. They'll attack when they're ready. Oh, there goes the the twelfth again. Okay, let's speed this up a bit actually, because nothing is really happening. Dragoons, Regiment of Horse, Death Head is ours. Let's have a look at you. There they are. Good, delicious, lovely looking cavalry. Too bad what's about to happen to them. Ha ha ha. So the AI is trying to time their attack, but at the same time, it doesn't want to just not attack. Hmm. Oh, there you go. Actual unit of Swiss pikes coming in. Poor Swiss pikes. They're a good unit, they're a useful unit, they're a versatile unit, but. These Swiss pikes are trying to... Well, they can't climb walls, pikes. Pikemen can't. So that's a bit... silly. There you go, his are coming in. trot in. If 
could hang around this long, the artillery will fire again. No, I feel confident enough in my line infantry. And they go and they fall back. <laughs> and they're off. Right, let's actually speed this up now because this is getting a bit silly with this. Keep my general out there, see if they decide to change their mind and actually do something. Hmm. Well, there you go, Dragoons have, work have worked out how to get in, <laughs> rather than charging the corner, actually go for the gaps. the officer die there, that's the question. Well if they're going to be silly about it then I'm just going to run my general round and shoot at your artillery then. If that doesn't get them out of it Got the eyes pretty bugged in this battle. Holy hell. Then go after that guy. Oh, okay. Oh, they started forming an actual line and engaging me. That's what they're all doing. Rather than assaulting, they're actually going to fire on me at range. And if you guys don't get bugged out and actually man the cannons, that won't last very long. There we go. Well, General, you may as well go clean up those Swiss pikes, I guess. Oh, look, it's veteran unit of line infantry. Six Sevrons. Very accurate troops. Compared to... Have I got a base model? Basic troop. Oh, look at them. So I think... I'm pretty sure the pip is five. And then any more is additional. So these guys are up to seven. But there are only 93 of them. As I replenish them, they'll probably go down. No, may as well send them after that unit of demi cannons then. And speed up. Because the only interesting thing that's going to happen is these guys are finally going to reach the walls. You know what, guys? What I'm going to do is pretty much just cut the battle here. And then if anything happens, I'll, I'll cut back in. So I'll, I'll cut back in when these guys actually get close. Righty, see you guys in a minute. Okay, everyone. <clears throat> They've actually uh, finally sped up. And I've got units put out the walls, outside of the walls, just to try to provoke them to actually move. And th this unit looks like they're just going to run straight for the... Uh... Let's run them out of bayonet charge distance. Out of bayonet charge position. Let them run around the flank. I 
And I will be using my cavalry to destroy them. Through these Western European infantry mercenaries. Go on, spin round. Present. Most of them needed to reload. Another bit of mopping up. Okay, let's hit them. Oh no, actually, let's actually destroy this proper unit of line infantry. That's probably more important. Oh, my infantry are routing, but that's okay. Get this, this actual unit to route, and then you go after those grenadiers. 16, 15. Slice, 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 slice. See, my general was two chevrons early, and now he's three. So he's probably becoming not a bad cavalry leader. Two, one, chop. Swiss line infantry, go get them. See, there's a whole bunch of them over here, and there's two guys here. They will probably, if they route, that is what will make them be able to escape. And they're just. being stupid because the eye is broken in this battle seemingly just a bit of mopping up right let's just speed this up because the battle's actually going to be over over soon triple speed continue just because I want to get because right now where I am um, I've got lots of Prussian stacks running around in the open space so I'd like to uh, I'd like to maul them or destroy them proper armies that I need to actually think about Euler has died and he says he died what ter that's terribly witty oh good hmm <laughs> Still, the important thing is they've left me alone enough to uh, replenish my troops. Because that garrison is going to pretty much have to stay there. I'm not going to have. I'm going to really have the chance to let them have any breathing space. Sweden. Hmm. Did I make a mistake by not allying with them? Perhaps, but I'm not going to worry about it. Like I said, I'm at war with everyone, so what does it matter? Ah, oh, see, Moogle's going to come steal some tech, the swines. Good, Genoa. Land and capture North Africa. I can deal with that. It also means that you'll move there more of your troops away region. from me. Not yet Rostock. Yeah, they're definitely going to rebel, but that's okay. Ultimately, I've got a lot of 
a lot of uh, troops in the area anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, how are you growing? 18 turns, not bad. Morocco's gone, pot stamping raided. Okay, so let's. Beef up this army a little bit. And let's go back on upgrading ports. There you go. Spend a little bit of money on ports. Always a good idea. Fleet destroyed. That's my doing. As per usual. <clears throat> now, Prussia, after I've. As I've beaten you, quest peace. they've lost Breslau well they only have Gdansk and Königsberg left so eventually they're going to have to sue for peace because they're not going to have the capacity to defeat me um, but I do have to stop worrying about Austria um, I'm defending against an attack from British troops but looking at the time I think that's the end of this part so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time